broke. It wasn't like this yesterday. Grandpa broke it. What? I got a hammer! I got a hammer! And it moved. I don't trust Stuart. Okay, now you can do it, I think. Just stop. Just stop. Wait, wait. Oh! Oh, oh, I it's gonna it. come out on you. <laughs> ah! <laughs> myself only me no one can guess what i came there to see we built this fence area about eight years ago with every intention of making a beautiful garden and a thriving place for us to plant and have vegetables and flowers but it never really happened i have lots of excuses the big one is we had our four boys in five years and uh didn't do a garden but uh, we're past that time now and we're excited about having a space that we can plant out and have flowers and vegetables and melons and just a variety of things. Kim and I get really inspired when, when we watch other YouTube channels, uh, people who have gardens. They do garden tours and we get very inspired by the layout and just all the things they do. So we are really hopeful that we can mimic that and learn from them and do some kind of a, a garden ourselves. We have the space for it. We built this fenced area. The fence is eight foot tall and it, uh, the whole purpose was to impede deer from coming in because we have a lot of deer here and they eat everything. But we don't want them eating our flowers or our gardens. So we have this fenced area and our goal now is to clean it up. So Jason has the tractor out here and we're gonna pick up all of these bricks. We also need to take the drip line out of some of the raised beds and we need to scrape the wood chip away from the soil so that when we rototill the soil and bring in new soil and amendment, the wood chip doesn't get bound into the soil and rob the nitrogen so that our plants have that for use next year. So we have a lot of work to do out here for sure. I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes 
I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie that I die I can hide That was not easy because this soil has not had any water in it since last rainy season, like which has been nothing here in California. So it is dry and hard. Like even the soft dirt that was put into these raised beds, it's hard, like it's all really hard. I think for now we're going to start grading and try to get the area really smoothed out and ready for our top covering. What do you guys think? Yeah, it's going to go good. And then once we finish that, uh, we have to trim these trees back here. We're going to uh, cut them back so that we don't have shadowing on the garden and uh, we don't have too much droppings either.
go there. We're making good progress on grading the garden area here. We've got a lot of the wood chips up that we laid down earlier and a lot of the wood, the sticks that broke from these trees. We're starting to trim some of the extra hanging uh, limbs that are there now. Uh, we have a lot of the uh, area graded and smoothed out. Our plan is to get this completely smooth and then we'll bring in some manure and do a top covering of it, get this soil ready for us to start planting out. It's starting to get dark here, so I thought I'd film just before we closed it, but we're going to do a little bit more work today and hopefully get pretty close to finishing the grading part of this. I started this school over here and I, I never finished it exactly. So this year I'm planning on finishing it. I don't know what I'm digging for. I just really like digging. Digging a hole for fun? Yeah. Oh my gosh. What? Is that a hammer? Yeah. Is that my hammer? No. Where did that hammer come from? Looks like like a craft hammer that I would have used for like grommets yeah. on paper or something. All this dirt came from here. Wow, Stuart, that is a big hole. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. Must have been hard going through all that clay. Stand in it. There's actually no clay. It's just dirt and rocks. I would say that red dirt is some type of clay. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So you digging digging to China? So are we gonna Maybe. plant a tree? He dug us a hole. You were not in this whole place. We should go pick a tree no, for this no, spot. No, 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 please no. Okay, okay, stand back, stand back, stand back. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, baby! The next day, last night, got away from us and Jason, the boys, and my dad were out here obviously continuing to work on it, but then it got dark and they came inside, so we're out here the next day and I'm going to trim up some of the rest of the debris that hangs over our neighbor's fence into the garden, which is mostly eucalyptus, and we're going to go from there. You guys did so much yesterday, especially that big limb. I can't believe an electric cutter took that off. It's about That's the skill on saw. <laughs> Amazing.
really big. Yeah, it's just a good stuff. Um, let's see, what, safety first? Yeah. Are those snowboarding goggles? Yeah, and I can't even get them to fit right. Yeah. I can't figure out the latch in the back. Nice work. We finished trimming all the trees. Now we're gonna clean up all the limbs that are down and we're pretty close. So we're gonna probably do one more smoothing out of all this uh, clumps of dirt, but the soil is now loosened up. All the rocks and extra material have been moved out. Our next plan in a stage two is to bring manure and cover this entire area. We ordered a trailer that's a real drum that it will spin and kind of throw out all the manure. We'll use that as a top covering. It'll help to amend the soil for the rest of the winter and as we get ready to start planting probably in March. So here we built this sprinkler. We made out of um, a bunch of two inch PVC pipes and a sprinkler head and we do this so we can spray water around quickly and efficiently and not have to stick a sprinkler in the ground, put piping under the ground. And you know, we can set it out there. We don't need someone to hose down the area. It'll just hose it down for us. So it's good for dust control. Correct. So we're doing projects like this. And it also helps with compaction. You ever built one of these? No. I've broken them, but never built one. Touche. We had a great time. Thank you guys for all your help. Thanks everyone. Bye-bye. Bye guys. Bye. Bye.